EIGRP summarization. In this video, I am going to talk about first summarization and after that the EIGRP summarization means how we can implement summarization in the EIGRP. The first thing that we should know is about the summarization. What is the summarization? Why we need to use the summarization? What is the benefit of the summarization? Let me first explain the summarization. This is not related to only EIGRP. This is related to every and each routing protocol such as the RIP, such as the OSPF, such as the ISIS or BGP. Okay. After understanding the summarization, we can implement it and we can talk about in the EIGRP specifically. Okay, let me to use the, a simple scenario. I will configure one scenario for the summarization. Here we are only learning about the uh, fundamentals of the summarization. Assume that here we have one rotor, rotor one, and here another rotor, rotor two. And also we have configured the EIGRP. Let me to emphasize that the protocol now is not important because this protocol can be ISIS, can be OSPF, can be RIP or some other other things okay here only we are talking about the summarization after that you know that uh, for example between the rotor 1 and rotor 2 the EIGRP or one routing protocol uh, configured before and the rotor 1 should send this up four updates to the uh, for example rotor 2 these four networks okay are available on the routing table of rotor one because of that the rotor one should send this four update to the rotor two uh, for example as uh, for example assume that we are sending 172.16.00 slash 24 uh, to the rotor of, uh, two with the one eigrp update this is the eigrp update okay so easy after that you know that we should send also another EIGRP updates for the other routes 172, 160, 172, 16, 10, 172, 16, 20, 172, 16, 30, 24. This means that we are informing from the R1 to the R2 that we have reachability uh, to these four networks. After advertising these four networks to the rotor 2, in the rotor 2, okay, for example, in EIGRP or any other, uh, other routing protocol, we have four networks inside the routing table. Assume that this is the routing table of the router 2. And here we have four networks 172.16.00 slash, uh, for example, 24. This is reachable uh, from the router 2. Okay, here we have the IP address of the router 2. Assume that. Uh, the, uh, in the link between the rotor 1 and rotor 2 we are using 1020 slash 24 as the IP address because of that the next hop is the 10121 uh, this means that if you want to send traffic to the 172.16.00 slash 24 network you can use the next hop of 10121 means this interface it is so obvious okay also, beside of this entry, we have another four entries. For the 172.16.10 and 20 and 30, okay, you can use this next stop to send in traffic. What does it mean? It means that when the rotor 2 is receiving a traffic, okay, this is the real traffic. You know that this is the IGRP update and this is not the uh, data. This is the IGRP update, control information or routing protocol information, but this is data, data of use. The destination of the data, okay, is for example 172.16.21. We can compare the destination IP with this routing table, and after that, we can find that this uh, packet should be forwarded with this entry 172.16.20/24 with this next stop, and after that, we can forward the traffic uh, from R2 to R1, okay, and then R1 can send the traffic uh, to the destination network. This is the process. This is the normal process without summarization actually when you, you have four network okay you should send four update let me uh, to uh, right here we should send four update for sending four update we need to use four time the bandwidth assume that for one of these updates we are using one bit per second for example one bit per second okay for four updates we are using four bits per second okay this means that if uh, you are using one unit of bandwidth for one update for four update you should use four unit of bandwidth it is obvious 
Also, here we have a routing table. Assume that for saving one line, okay, we need to use one, uh, for example, unit of memory, okay, one unit of memory. If you want to save four entry, you need to use four unit of memory. For example, for each of these lines, we need one byte, okay. For four entry, we need four byte, okay, four times of memory. After that, you know that when a packet is receiving in the router 2, we should compare this packet for four entries. This means that, you know, that for each entry, we need to consume the CPU. Assume that for searching one entry, we need to use one unit of, of the CPU. For four entry, we, we should use four units of CPU. Actually, we can say we are consuming the resources four times uh, when you are sending four update. Okay, this is obvious that we have four update. We are using four a unit of bandwidth, four unit of memory, four unit of CPU. Okay, this is without summarization. Now let me to show you one simple uh, example. You know that all of this IP address, okay, one seven two sixteen one zero zero one zero two zero and three zero are same okay until the 22 bit let me to show you look at here if you want you can uh, uh, for example convert this this uh, for ip address in the third octet to the uh, for example binary 172.16.000 then 000.0.0 slash 24 okay the third octet are uh, converted to the binary again 172.16.000.0001.0 slash 24 okay after that here we have 172.16 again 000.0001.0.0 slash 24 and finally the 172.16.30 uh, equal and to the 172.16.000.0011.0 slash 24. As you can see, between these four IP address, we have the first 22 bits same, as you can see. Look at here. Until here, we don't have any difference between these uh, four IP address or for this network address. Actually, we can say the summary or supernet, another name of summary is the supernet. The summary or supernets of all of these networks is 172.16.0.0.22. Why? Because until the uh, 22 bits, okay, we have the same value between these two, four networks. Now, let me to talk about the summarization in the routing advertisement. Okay, assume that instead of ad advertising these four update we are advertising only one update look at here i'm not going to send all of this update i'm going to send only one update 172.16.00 okay then a slash 22 this is the summary at, at, actually we are sending only one uh, eigrp update instead of four eigrp update okay after that you know that uh, when we you are sending this one entry the routing table also should has only one entry let me to show you the routing table when you are using the summarization here we have only one entry 172.16.00 slash 22 can be reached uh, with the uh, next top of 10 one to one it's okay now let me to talk about again one data that is receiving by the router to assume that this data is receiving by the router uh, two. You know that here we have only one entry, okay? And you know that all of the uh, uh, packets with the destination of 172.16, uh, for example, 01, and also 172.16.11, okay? And then 172.16.31, okay? All of these four packets with different destination IPs can match with this one entry why because in all of the destination ip we have 22 bits equal to this value actually the summary include all of this uh, for example subnets here we have one summary here we have the subnets because of that you can easily find the, this, the next hub with only one entry search this means that we are on using only one cpu unit
not for CPU, you need for searching the, uh, for example, routing table. After 